Breeders' Cup Classic heavyweights gunrunner and arrogant turned in their final works Monday morning at Santa Anita and Del Mar as the days count down to the World Championships. Gunrunner kicked off the action at Del Mar around 6.50 a.m. as he sailed through an easy half in 49 and 2. Winchell Thoroughbreds and Three Chimneys, son of Candy Ride, had assistant trainer Scott Blasey grinning ear to ear as he exited the track along with the pony. Blasey called the work beautiful and said one of his favorite things about Gunrunner is how willing he is to do whatever he is asked. Meanwhile, over at Santa Anita, Arrogate put the finishing touches on his major classic preparations when he went five furlongs in a minute flat. The Bob Baffert trainee worked in company with Hot Sean and easily caught up with that one in a few strides after breaking off about a length behind under Rafael Bejarano. Baffert said Arrogate is progressing and getting stronger each week, although we have yet to see if he will return to the form that saw him win four straight top-level races, including the 2016 Classic. Baffert also worked classic contender Mubtahish, who went an easy half in 49 and 4 fifths, and defending sprint winner Dreyfong, who also went easy in 48 and 3 fifths. Speaking of the sprint, Mind Your Biscuits blew out three furlongs in 36 and 2 fifths at Del Mar, where he was joined on the late tab by classic contender Win the Spaces, four furlongs in 49 and 3 fifths. Of course, you can read full reports on the works at Santa Anita and Del Mar at bloodhorse.com. It was the first morning on the track at Del Mar for many Breeders' Cup contenders, including classic runner Gunavera, who enjoyed an easy gallop in his first chance to stretch his legs after arriving from Miami Saturday night. We also saw Breeders' Cup distaff contender Stellar Wind out early with the pony as she prepares for the final start of her career, and Chad Brown set his contenders out for light training, including Philly and Mare turf runner DeSita, Dirt Mile hopeful practical joke, and the brilliant Lady Eli, another contender for the Philly and Mare turf. DeSita is slated for the Phasic Tipton November sale, while Lady Eli and Stellar Wind will sell at Keeneland. Later today, the draw will be held for all 13 Breeders' Cup races, and of course that information will be at bloodhorse.com as it happens, and tonight you can read a full preview edition of Blood Horse Daily.